course is on oral history and part of the research that we read is on indigenous oral histories. I'm really keen on every first year student having some exposure to um, what research in indigenous studies looks like, what questions it asks, um, and what questions it asks of us as researchers and of the students going forward. Everyone, every, especially every non-Indigenous person in Canada, um, should enter that process, if they haven't already, of thinking about their position in relationship to um, the land that they're on. Forestry in, in Canada is, it really is essential to talk about Indigenous culture um, and communities and engagement. Um, and ways of respectfully doing that. It was, a, it was a way, I think, to begin to acknowledge the atrocities of the past and to, not, um, and to not presume that they stayed in the past, but to acknowledge that they've actually carried forward. You know, university professors were expected to be experts in our area, and I think that could be very dangerous given, uh, you know, my, my sort of, my identity as, as, a, as a white settler scholar and, and that this isn't my cultural background, these aren't the knowledges I grew up and were, was immersed in. Um, I think it's very important that I sort of, you know, walk with a degree of humility. There were times when it, um, uh, I really, really questioned uh, whether I should teach uh, Indigenous scholarship, whether I'm the right person to do that. Um, with what voice and authority I can speak to the students when I do that. I, I go to the courses at the Learning Centre, I've been to the Waywa Library, I, um, I try to do these workshops as often as I can and I think it's just this kind of active learning and to never assume that we've done it, we've, I've learned it, I'm ready now. Um, it's, it's just a consistently moving target. Being prepared to acknowledge that you're not the expert in this particular area, that there, that there, are, uh, that there are questions you don't know the answers to, that there are many things that you don't know the answers to. The main successes in the class was when you know, one or two people actually just raised their hand and, and, and shared a really positive story that they had with an Indigenous community um, here in Canada or abroad and, uh, and could kind of see how this discussion really does affect their current life and their future careers as young foresters. The way I think about it now is that it, it will always be a challenge because I am not Indigenous. Um, I, I always have to listen and I always have to keep um, paying close attention to how the, dis how the discussion develops. Um, but who's entering it and how and what ideas, how ideas are shifting and how approaches are shifting. And they'll always be shifting without me because I'm not driving it, I'm um, listening. And, and finding, have, having to find my place anew each time there are shifts. So, um, to me, that, so that, that's an ongoing challenge. It will never be without challenge, and that's, that's the way it should be.